Hey guys, it's Carla. I go by eclectic underscore flower on social media like Instagram and my Poshmark closet name is also eclectic underscore flower. Um, if you've never tuned in before, I am an online reseller. I sell on platforms such as Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, Tradez. Um, I have sent in a few items to Freda and that's about it. So I like to do a lot of unboxing videos. I have attempted like other videos and hope to incorporate that a little bit more, but um, I really love unboxings because I like watching them. So um, I thought I would do a haul video of um, this time around of items that I bought at Close Mentor. Um, Clo if you don't know, Close Mentor is a buy sell trade store similar to Plato's Closet or Style Encore. Um, they don't have Clothes Mentor everywhere, but usually they have at least one of those three. Um, anyways, I got about 20 items or so uh, from two different Clothes Mentor stores. Um, I won't say my exact cost of goods, um, but it was a 90% off sale. So you can imagine that um, it was pretty good. So I don't have them separated by store and I have a couple items mixed in that I purchased for myself, but that's fine. Um, so let's get started. First up is the first place that I look, which is shoes. Um, especially because I realized that they even put designer shoes on 90% off, which not everyone realizes. So it's a good place to look. So this pair is a pair of snake print um, pumps really really cute and the brand on this one is Leffler Randall um, this is a pretty high-end shoe brand they also make purses they might make other stuff but that's what they're known for um, yeah these are super cute and when I and they're in like excellent condition there's seriously such little wear to them and when I went to check out they had the other shoe in the back um, and they have the original box. So they're not new, but whoever had them took care of them and they kept the box. So that increases resale value, which is super exciting. Um, next up is something I got for myself, AKA the most amazing shorts ever. The brands on this one is I believe Black Swan. Um, it's a size 29. And guys, just amazing. They're slightly big on me, but I don't even care. Um, they're mine and I love them. Uh, the next item is I also bought for myself. Um, I saw this last time I was at Close Mentor and it wasn't on sale um, and I'm cheap, so I didn't get it, but it was on sale this time and super cute. I don't think it's like a brand or anything. Yeah, it just has like a made in China thing, but so cute and it's really my style. AKA grandma, sorry about that. Um, AKA grandma tapestry florals, that's my style. Um, next up is a plus size item. I love picking up plus size items, even if they're a, a brand that maybe doesn't always do well or that is not known or whatever. So this is a Rachel, Rachel Roy dress, but it's a 3X and it is this gorgeous floral and it's got like a tie there. It's gorgeous and it's so like soft and nice. So um, Rachel, Rachel Roy, I've never sold it, but I've been told it doesn't do incredibly well um, resale wise, but this dress was super cute and plus size and I figured I just, you know, would give it a try. It didn't cost much, so. Next up is Madewell, and I really, I'm just not crazy about selling Madewell because it doesn't do well for me. Um, some things do, but not most. So this is Madewell, it is an older tag. It's a size small. And it is this dress, it looks like it's linen, but um, it's like this gauzy, whoa there we go it's like this gauzy fabric it was supposed to come with a belt but it doesn't have belt loops so I figured it's fine 
Um, comps looked mm, okay. There's quite a few listed, which is common with Madewell, but it was so cheap. I was just like, I want it. Um, next up is Chico's um, size two, which equates to a large, I believe. It's got this really cute like flounce there. It's nothing special, but it was just, it just looks like really beautiful, <laughs> the color. So I figured, you know, why not? Um, and it's a larger size, so. Next up is one of my favorite bread and butter brands, AKA Torrid. This is a size 14. And so they're just like some blue, like utility pants. Um, they're cropped and size 14. I think I said that. Um, comps looked okay, and I love selling Torrid. Um, if you don't sell Torrid, but why? Um, also, uh, it does really well on Mercari. Gets a lot of attention there, but it does really well on um, all three of my main platforms, eBay and Poshmark as well. Another plus size item... I think it's plus size yeah it's a 16 wide but it's also like a petite which I thought was really good because a lot of people who are a larger size are also often short and they struggle with you know length a lot of the time so I thought that this might be a nice pickup really pretty floral skirt I thought it was gorgeous and comps you know, I don't know. They're all over the place with Talbots, but a good piece sometimes goes far. All right, next up is a new with tag item. Um, and this brand is sold at Nordstrom, and it mostly is plus size. I don't know if it's only plus size, but the brand is Sejour. Um, it's an 18, and it's floral. It's really pretty. It's got this, like flounce at the bottom and so yeah it's gorgeous um new with tags um it doesn't retail for the most but I've only sold a jacket once from this brand and it sold really well so next up is a brand I don't usually pick up um it's actually Topshop but this was a Kate Moss Top Shop collaboration. These are a size something. I forget. I don't know. It's not on here, but they're a size something. And they're leather, actually. And they've got this really cute braiding on the side. Um, so I picked these up. It seems like I don't know how they'll do. Um, the size, I think it's, I think it's like an extra large or something like that. Um, I think it might be a 12. So I thought that was a really good size too. Really, really beautiful detail, um, on the sides and it's really, really soft. So I thought I'd give that a shot. Um, next up is actually, okay. I have two items that I actually got at Salvation Army because it was half off day there. Um, so I've got this. And it's got like a, I don't know. I don't even know what's going on here, but it's got like a strappy detail around the neckline. Um, this is Bobo, size 2X, um, new with tags. Uh, sometimes this brand does well, sometimes it doesn't, uh, but it's a really beautiful print and I just like couldn't leave it behind. Um, so sometimes if I have items like that, that are just like, I'm super drawn to, which obviously is florals, um, then if it's plus size, if it's a good size, if it's new with tags, I'll take a shot at it. Um, if it's, if it wasn't new with tags, might not. Um, next up is again, one of my favorite but bread and butter brands. Again, this is, um, Torrid size 18. It's just a really pretty um, dress and it's got like leopard print and gray and black and then like these rose prints. Um, this does have like kind of an older style look to it, but Torrid again does super well for me. So 
Whoops. Um, all right, next up is a pair of pants, another plus size item. Um, this is by Lane Bryant and it's a size 22, 24. And these are just so comfortable. It's like gray and they're, I think made out of tensile. So it's just incredibly soft. Um, definitely needs to be steamed. They're kind of like cargo cause they like, you know, you can do this at the bottom, but then they're basically just like joggers, which I don't know. They just look so comfortable. Um, and Lane Bryant does sell not for a ton usually, but again, if it's, you know, I'm really drawn to the style and it's in excellent condition or new with tags, I'll usually take a shot at it. Next up is a Lulu's piece, size medium. Um, and this is a maxi dress, I believe. So there's that and hold on. <laughs> gorgeous, gorgeous color. Um, pretty neckline and the back has this like lace up lace up detail that looks horrible right now but it's gorgeous so I was excited about that um like maxi dresses from Lulu's or some of their stuff that can be worn to weddings like as bridesmaid dresses or even wedding dresses seem to do really well um I usually that's all I'll pick up unless it's like a really special piece this piece is also Lulu's and um, I was just drawn to it. So it was also a larger size, extra large. And it is an off the shoulder, um, like green dress and comps actually look okay on it. Um, and it's just really pretty and an extra large. So next up is another brand I don't usually pick up, but so cute. So these are BCBG Max Azria. These are small size of zero to, <laughs> that's my dog scratching himself. Um, and it's got embroidery and these slide pockets, just really beautiful. And the embroidery is in excellent condition. So I know this brand does sell, um, but it needs to be like a really special piece um in my opinion for me to pick it up or a trendy piece next up is another brand that i don't usually pick up um but it's new with tags boohoo and again plus size so size 20. it's really kind of pretty beautiful again this like red color it's really cute and plus size, so I thought I'd give it a shot. Um, I know I, I just keep saying that, <laughs> but it's true. Um, next up is, I think the last clothing. No, I've got one more clothing item. Um, and it is Show Me Your Moo Moo. Um, so this with the skull, bowl, skull, um, seems to do really well um, for like compared to their non bridesmaid dresses um, which tend to not do really well anything that's not their bridesmaid dresses but um, I think this top will do fine nothing crazy though last clothing piece is free people and this is a size large so I got this um, I, I tend to stay away from super basic like free people pieces but um, this was cute and it was a size large so I figured what the heck so off the shoulder but it's got like this yeah really pretty texture to it so um, again I guess the theme was larger sizes, um, which I'm always happy to add into my closet. Next up, I got some good shoes. Not a lot though, not as many as I like to get there. Um, but these are a pair of Dansko's, Dansko sandals. 
Um, they're size seven and in pretty great condition. They um, don't really seem to have much wear at all. Um, I might take a, like a lighter to just take out any of the, like the loose threads. That trick is from Southern Stone on Instagram. Um, next up is C by Chloe and they're just these sandals. So comps were all over the place, but I got them cheap, so it's fine. Um, I just got excited because I think I've seen C by Chloe, but it's always been in like horrible condition. So I just thought these were cute. It's still summer. It's hot as heck here in North Carolina. Um, all right, the next two were probably my best pairs and I'm super, aside from the um, Leffler Randall, and I'm super excited. So these, they were not with designer shoes. They were in the regular section. And I will just tell you, they were incredibly cheap, um, especially with 90% off, but they were cheap anyways because they obviously didn't recognize the brands. Pedro Garcia. So if you don't know this brand, it is extremely expensive. And they're really beautiful. It's like pony hair, or calf hair. They are also in like excellent condition. They need a little cleaning up on the heels, but that will all come off right there. And there's honestly like not much scratches. And I was so excited for this. These are a size 37, so probably a size seven um, in US sizing. So I was super happy for these. And this part is like Velcro, so um, it's adjustable. And last up is the these pairs, this, this pair of um, really unique heels. It's also got like a calf hair, pony hair um, upper and this really, really cool heel. Um, and the brand on this one is Alice and Olivia. I've never found any shoes by this brand. Um, but it's a size seven and it is just so gorgeous. There was only one comp and it was really good. There's one for sale. Um, and so I figured, you know, not a lot of this style. Let's just see how it does. Um, so I was super excited for this and that's it. So <laughs> those are some macarons in the box, but anyways, um, let me know what you think. Um, I was really pleased with the haul. I would have liked to get more items because I was out for about six hours, but typically I can only find like 10 items at a time and the half off sale at Salvation Army was, I only found two items. So usually it's better than that. I don't know what's going on with them. But anyways, thanks for tuning in. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up um, and hit the like button. Um, that's the same thing. Uh, you can also subscribe. I will be doing an unboxing soon of um, a bulk bundle from Fashion Without Trash In or Ornamental Stone on Poshmark. And um, I also have a Jomar box coming. So we'll definitely unbox those for you guys. Anyway, hope you guys are having a great day, making sales, all that good stuff. And thanks for watching or listening, just tuning in in general. Bye, guys.